Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Leon Weinstein and today is the last day of May 2020. Today I wanted to talk with my liberal friends. On more than one occasion we discussed with you Second Amendment and your desire to get rid of all weapons the population holds in their hands. Publicly you were saying that only automatic or semi-automatic weapons should be banned, but, but at private conversations you confirmed many times that your end goal is to have weapons in hands of professionals only. When I was telling you that many countries went this way and ended up at the mercy of brutal governments or mobs, you were telling me that, that here in the United States of America police always will be able to protect you and me. I want you to look at what happened during last several days. Police was not able to hold ground. Police wasn't able to help store owners or protect cars and other private property. Why would pay the police to protect us, right? They even have on their cars written protect and serve. Protect whom? Themselves or us? and police ran away from its own headquarters. On the fifth day of riots, in my own city of Los Angeles, mayor and governor were acting like, like what happened got there by total surprise. Rioters, some call them protesters, march at least two miles from the midtown to Beverly Hills, where stores are more expensive. No one stopped them. No one stopped them. They looted stores, including car dealerships, and proudly videotaped how they steal cars and drive away. No police to be found, no police to be seen. Today, the so-called protesters came to Santa Monica to loot the Santa Monica Mall. Do you see any officer that protects private property? It is insured or not, it's not a question. If insured, then insurance company is supposed to pay for, for damages and stolen products. And who will pay for not selling at the stores, not making profits, not paying salaries to workers? On top of the quarantine and huge damage it brought to our economy, now destruction by thieves and inaction of our police made it ten times more terrible. But I wanted to talk with you about something else. Do you believe that the same police will come to your house when hundreds of houses will be simultaneously looted, attacked and looted? Do you think you will have time to call police and tell them that strangers in your house and they will immediately come to save you, right? If you believe in that, then you probably believe in Santa Claus and tooth fairies. Like, like in 1917 in Russia, no one, no one will help you and come to your rescue. No one. I want you to understand, you are on your own. Maybe neighbors, maybe neighbors are with you, but only because you have the very same danger hanging over you and your families. My dear friends, I, I really love you. I do not want to lose you. Do you think people who will come to your house to rob will ask you if you are a white supremacist or, or liberal? You will not have time to tell them that you always voted for Democrats, that you love Hillary and hate Trump. They do not care. At best they will take what is, what is there, what they want from your house. At worst they will rape and kill whoever will be on the premises. Only guns and more, the better. There is no other way, you and only you can save your family. But if you decide to try to talk sense to the looters, it is your choice. You were warned. As the Romans used to say, forewarned is forearmed. Think about it. Forewarned is forearmed. Arm yourself, if it's not too late already. Arm yourself.